Hello, Jane Gill here, and in this video I'd like to introduce you to a couple of new stamp sets that are out in February 2021 and some other Creative Expressions products. Today I'm going to be using these two stamp sets, a butterfly and a flower. The butterfly's code is JGS762, and it's called Butterfly Sketch, and the flower is JGS761 Dahlia Sketch. They're both drawn in a similar way, so they can be used together. I'm also using um, a pack of Koi uh, marker pens. There are six in the pack and this is a range of colours that you get. It's a really good idea to make yourself a little colour swatch like I have here with the code next door to it. I'm also going to be using Cosmic Shimmer Watercolour Ink and this one is Mighty Magenta and Lemon Burst and then I've got Gracious, Glorious Grape, sorry, Glorious Grape. I'm also going to be using Cosmic Shimmer Colour Cloud in Decadent Wine. And I've chosen a Sue Wilson die for my greeting. So it's uh, die cuts are lovely happy and a little block there for you to die cut so you can stamp, it comes with the stamps, onto the block to add your greeting. I think it's really a useful die set. I love this actually. I'm also using a mini stencil, Meteor Shower. And um, some vellum from Creative Expressions pack of vellum. And I'm using the self-adhesive sheets also on the Creative Expressions label. This is sticky, both sides a really useful product to have in your craft stash. I've also got on my desk a spritzer bottle and a wide brush and I'm using a watercolour uh, card for this technique. So the first thing I'm going to do is take my piece of watercolour card and I'm going to spritz both sides just a little bit. I'm doing both sides to stop it from warping. If you just spritz one side, when it gets wet, it will tight to curl and then all your ink will run over the sides. But when it spritz both sides, it stays flat. When you use the uh, watercolour inks, there's a little button at the top and if you before you take the lid off, if you press that button, release it, it sucks up the ink into the little pipette that you can see here, and then you can easily put that into your palette. So it's a really nice way of applying colour. It's a dye-based um, ink which you can actually use with water, so it will stain your fingers a little bit, but it does come off. So I have all my colours in my palette. Okay, I've got a lot more colours there, but those are all the colours of the watercolour inks, but I'm only using the three today. I've got a jar of water as well. So I've done my spritzing. So I'm going to start with a damp brush and I'm going to start with the lightest colour first, which is the yellow. And I'm going to dab yellow here and there. And then I'm going to pick up a tiny bit of the red you can see it's quite a nice, strong colour. And then I'm going to go to the purple, a glorious grape. And when you've done that, take a clean, damp brush and just add a little bit of water to blend them all together. Just dab the brush because if you start moving the brush around too much, you're going to mix all your colours and they'll go a little bit muddy. And I think that's probably me done. And then I'm going to dab that a little bit with some kitchen towel just to take away the excess. Soften those edges a little bit more. If you want to add a little bit more colour, you can do block that a little bit. So there's my background. Probably when I pick it up, it'll probably all start running. It looks really nice. Um, as it dries, it changes completely. So I've done one extra one here. So you can see that it's now dry. Makes a really nice, interesting background. That's what's so nice about these watercolour inks. You can do lovely backgrounds and you can also use them to paint in your stamped images as well. So on here, I'm going to stamp the flower and I'm going to use the Cosmic Shimmer Colour Cloud with a sponge applicator. Push the um, pad down into the um, pot 
and it will release the ink comes to the surface. Let's move that over the way and apply the ink on the smoothie all over the image. If you want any more, you can apply some more. The idea with this is it's just a faint outline. Um, but again, another useful product, great for doing backgrounds, edging card, and also for stamping. So we're now going to stamp the flower roughly there. Give it a really good press down. You can always use your um, stamping platform for this as well. So there I've got my, my flower in position. You see it's quite a light image, but it's just literally an interest in the background. Right, the next thing I'm going to do is stamp the butterfly. I have already pre-done that because I've embossed it as well. So here we have um, what I've done earlier. So I've got the butterfly um, positioned so it looks like it's sitting on the flower. And I have embossed it with white powder and I've stamped the greeting sideways from the same stamp set and I've added a little bit of colour using the Koi marker pen in 221 which is rose red direct to the um, image and of course the embossed outline keeps the ink in one place so I've done that ready to um, finish off later on the next thing we're going to do is um, stamp your butterfly onto a piece of vellum. I'm actually only interested in the wing area. I don't mind about the little curly bits that come off. Those are actually on the backgrounds. I just want the wings. So I stamped that, embossed it with white powder, and then I'm going to color it. I'm going to use these two um, pens, the 223 which is Bordeaux and the 221 which is the rose red which is from this set of Galaxy Koi marker pens. So we're going to start off with a darker colour and I'm going to blend it actually in situ. So I've got the darker colour and then the lighter colour going to the top of the shape I'm doing. So you can see what a lovely strong colour that is. Here's one I've already completed. And just to add a little bit of something extra, I have used some of the colour cloud on an applicator and I've just smoothed that over the top just to give it a much, much richer colour. But what you will have to do once it's dry is wipe over the top so that the ink isn't sitting on the embossed outline. So I've taken that and the double-sided sticky sheet. Sorry about that. I've taken one side off the sticky sheet to expose the tacky background there and I have stuck the butterfly to that and then I've cut it out so here's my piece I've cut out and so I've got the backing still on the back from the sticky sheet remember it's double-sided so that was ready to be stuck down onto my card because you know how difficult it is to stick to vellum down sometimes so that's going to be nice and sticky ready to stick on my card so we're going to go back to my background and we're going to use the Meteor Shower little mini stencil, which I find really, really useful. And I'm going to use the colour cloud again on my applicator. I'm just going to make sure it's not too full of colour. So I'll just take a little bit extra off on a tissue and lightly add some detail from the stencil on your background. Just adding a little bit of, again, another another interest on the um, background. So I've got my little bit of stenciling on the background. OK, 
Okay, so now we're going to stick our butterfly onto our image on here. Remember what I said that this is um, tacky and we're going to peel the back off. But what I have done is I have cut out a little bit of the, um, the butterfly tail. I know butterflies don't have tails, but this one does. It's a bit of artistic license. So I've cut that out and there's also that little bit there you've got to cut out. So I'll show you what it looks like when you cut it out. So can you see that little gap there? And this is the little bit that goes on the end, which will allow this piece to show through. So we're going to peel off the backing. This can be the trickiest part of this project because it's quite difficult to get apart. And I might have to use my knife. And there we are, got it. Right, so peel the backing away from the vellum. The reason for using vellum is it's got a slight translucency to it, which means you can see um, sometimes some of the background. So it's really, really sticky. So when you want to stick it down, make sure you get it in the, exactly the right position. So we're going to pop that exactly, hopefully, where I want it. Following the outline that's actually on your card. And then we'll take the little bit bottom of its tail and stick that down as well. So there's our wings and butterfly in place and you'll see that the um, wings are slightly over the edge but when you layer that up and mount onto your base card that will be sticking onto your base card. The next thing I've done is I've die cut the word happy and birthday from that Sue Wilson die set. And I've colored the word happy and the little block that comes for your greeting. And I've colored that with the um, color cloud, the same color again. Um, it's decadent wine using the little applicator. Let that dry before you actually stick it onto your, onto your card. So I'm going to take that now and my, um, Cosmic Shimmer PVA glue and we're going to add a little bit of glue to the back of it. It's a nice big bold image so it's easy to apply a small amount of, of glue to this. And we're going to stick that down wherever you like. And the same thing with the little strip. And the stamps that come with this set are uh, I think there's an anniversary, there's a, let's have a look at it, yes there's a Christmas, anniversary, birthday, thoughts and new year. So you've got quite a nice selection so it can be used all year round. And the other thing I like about the Happy is it's big enough for you to actually stamp over with background stamps, you can draw on it, you can do it in different colours, don't just die cut it from a colour card, make it fit your fit the colour of your card. So there's the there's the greeting in situ. So everything is done with coordinating colours. That's what's so nice about it. So that's ready now to be layered up and stuck onto your base card. But what I have got here is a couple of other samples that I've done to give you some more inspiration. I have got um, a lovely turquoise one here. And you can see that I've done some doodling with a white pen and this pen is the um, Sakura Jelly Roll white pen, which again is from Creative Expressions. And that's a really, really nice pen to use to draw with. Comes out nice and nice and white, but you have to make sure your ink is nice and, and, and dry. That done slightly different colourway, but exactly the same as I've done before. And this one is different. This is coloured with um, alcohol markers. On a similar made background and I've stamped my text stamp on the background but that's done with alcohol markers and again using the white pen to add some detail. And the last one is um, using the coin marker pens again but not on the vellum this time directly colouring onto the watercolour card and I've got a new a new die there 
which is quite nice to use a die as well as some of the words that come with the set. There's one there. And I have used this set to die cut those words. Again, another really useful set of dies from Sue Wilson. And the code for that is CED5430. It's a really nice font. And I've again coloured it with uh, a matching colour cloud. So it's very simple to do. And um, stencil the background with a slightly different stencil. So thank you very much for watching and um, looking forward to seeing you again soon.